if you still believe that Antarctica is nothing but an endless plain of snow and ice. We have some disturbing news for you. The frosty continent hides almost unbelievable secrets that will take the breath away of even the most experienced scientists. From disturbing life forms to inexplicable bone finds to aliens in the flesh, what was previously thought to be absolutely impossible has now become a reality. Buckle up, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and find out what mysteries really lurk in the eternal ice. Diesel-eating bacteria Human pollution of the world's oceans is an ever-growing problem. In light of this, it seems almost crazy that nature, of all things, could help us clean up the damage we've done ourselves. A few years ago, for example, researchers were able to identify two strains of bacteria in pristine Antarctic soil that break down diesel. After uncovering the remarkable abilities of strange ADL-15 and ADL-36, the experts analyzed the conditions needed to really get natural diesel degradation rolling. Ultimately, the scientists found that both bacteria had comparable growth conditions, including a neutral soil, a salt concentration of 1%, and a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. However, because both species are native to Antarctica, they can withstand more extreme conditions such as cold and dry alkaline soils. Under optimal conditions, the strains are capable of degrading 84 or even 99% of the diesel. Next, the researchers will conduct a detailed study to investigate how the bacteria can help clean up contaminated polar soils. Extraterrestrial life forms At first glance, the key data of meteorite ALH84001 reads quite unspectacular. With an estimated age of just under 4.1 billion years, the rock was blasted off the surface of Mars 15 million years ago and finally crashed into Antarctica 13,000 years ago. That this space rock is exceedingly different from all others, however, becomes clear when we look at the remarkable discovery made in 1996. At that time, David McKay and his colleagues traced a series of strange structures on the meteorite, which they interpreted as the traces of extraterrestrial life forms. In detail, we should have to do it here with the unmistakable signatures of fossil bacteria. The problem? Up to this day, the scientific minds argue violently about the microscopic photographs, the carbonite inclusions, and the special hydrocarbons that are to be interpreted correctly. Theoretically, it is possible that the discovered traces could also have a non-biological background. Those which see the rock, however, as proof of existence of extraterrestrial life stretch this exciting thought even a piece further. According to it, the life carrier from the universe would underpin also the so-called Pamspermia theory. This states that the basic building blocks of terrestrial life arrived on Earth aboard meteorites in the first place. Blood Falls Antarctica is bleeding. What would be a fitting metaphor in concerned environmentalist circles is more than just a figurative paraphrase in the case of the Blood Falls. Located in the eastern region of Victoria Land, the Taylor Glacier has been spewing out a blood-red stream for some time now, which actually looks as if someone had plunged a knife into the bowels of the ice. However, the Australian geologist Griffith Taylor already knew that this unique natural spectacle is actually not quite as brutal as it appears at first glance. When the researcher discovered the bloodstream in 1911, he believed that the peculiar coloration was due to red algae. Today we are smarter. It is now considered certain that we are dealing with the result of iron oxides. The realization that also comes with an astonishing conclusion. Within this unique system, a rare subglacial ecosystem has unfolded. Thus, 17 different microorganisms could be detected in the blood, or er, water samples and practically no oxygen. One explanation of the theory is based on the fact that the life forms breathe sulfate as a catalyst with ferric ions and metabolize the microscopic amounts of organic matter. Or somewhat more understandably expressed, the researchers never observed such a metabolic process before. The Inexplicable Hole The year is 1970 when some satellite images reveal a phenomenon in the Antarctica that is as puzzling as it is rare. In the middle of a gigantic ice shell of the Lazarev Sea, 
a colossal hole suddenly gaped. Before the researchers had found a plausible explanation for the crack in the ice landscape, it had already disappeared with the dawn of summer. But then, 37 years later, the ice sheet would break open again, forming a 9,500 square kilometer wound. And this time, scientists didn't want to miss the chance, which is why an international team of researchers immediately began to track down the mysterious spectacle with the help of satellite images and measurements. The results of this study, which were soon published, remind us once again of the brute forces that are really at work in nature. Thus, the so-called polyneus or temporary holes in the ice embody the result of elemental storms. In the case of a hurricane, the massive ice masses are pressed outward with unimaginable force, while the eye of the storm eats its way into the subsurface in the same breath. Since the holes in the ice sheet also open up new hunting grounds, such processes are even advantageous for certain Antarctic animals. However, the situation is somewhat different when looking at the global climate. For example, the ice caps not only influence ocean currents, but also the exchange of energy between the sea and the atmosphere. As a result of climate change, there will likely to be even more holes in the Antarctic ice sheet in the future. Since the warmer climate favors the formation of hurricanes, they will consequently occur even more frequently. Transparent Fish Given our current state of knowledge, the following review almost seems impossible. Just a decade ago, it was thought that nothing could survive beneath the Antarctic's massive ice sheet. So scientists were all the more astonished when they drilled through the Ross ice sheet a few years ago and identified an array of microbes, crustaceans, and even several strange species of fish. About 10 meters below the surface, at home in near-freezing temperatures, one newly discovered fish stood out in particular. Because you could literally look inside its head. This transparent nature, revealing a detailed view of the internal organs, is probably the result of the evolutionary loss of hemoglobin, the protein that colors the blood red. Other evolutionary aspects, however, resemble a genuine success story. Antarctic fish, for example, possess special glycoproteins, a kind of androgynous antifreeze that prevents body fluids from freezing in sub-zero temperatures. Impossible Bone Find It's not always easy for experts to immediately place every discovery in Antarctica into a logical context, but things get even trickier when researchers uncover something that shouldn't exist in that form at all. Like, for example, the mysterious skull recovered in 1985 on Yamana Beach at Cape Sharif. The fact that human remains are found in Antarctica is in itself nothing unusual. After all, many explorers paid for their excursion into the eternal ice with their lives. What makes this find so mysterious is the gender and origin of the person. In fact, we are dealing with a woman from southern Chile who died on Livingston Island in her early 20s. An in-depth analysis revealed that the unknown person passed away between the years 1819 and 1825. But how is that even possible? Discovered in a former sealer's camp, the experts here also recovered the remains of her femur. How and why the young woman came to Antarctica, however, remains an unsolved mystery to this day. Basically, the conclusion is that she was involved in some way in the seal hunt in Antarctica. It is possible that she drowned or that she froze to death on the coast, but it is likely that her true fate will forever remain a mystery. The Monster Worm Allow me to introduce Yuligiska Gigansia. What at first glance looks like the title character of an alien horror movie is actually at home in Antarctica and the Southern Ocean. Residing in water depths of 400 to 700 meters, this bizarre life form is classified as a scale worm. However, it's not only the grotesque body that makes this species so unique, but also its frightening size. If you follow the reports, Eulogisca gigansia can grow up to 20 centimeters long, but the best is yet to come. The part that looks like a head without eyes is actually a retractable proboscis a kind of tubular suction cup that the worm usually folds in and stows inside its body. The Singing Ice To conclude our video today, here's something for the ears. An Antarctic ice shelf, which is about twice the size of Germany, 
seems to have a special musical talent. According to this, the Ross Ice Shelf emits spectacular sounds reminiscent of the sound of a didgeridoo, or the booming soundtrack of a horror movie. In detail, the ice starts to sing as soon as the wind whips across the snow dunes and makes the frozen mass vibrate. As a result of burning fossil fuels, heat-trapping gases are released into the atmosphere, where they contribute to warming the oceans and melting the ice. Because of this, sea levels are rising, both from ice melting on land and from the expansion of ocean molecules. With this in mind, we can think of the ice shelf as a cork in the bottle. As soon as the ice shelf breaks apart, the retention force also decreases, allowing ice from the interior of Antarctica to flow even faster into the ocean. To better understand the background to the resulting rise in sea level, the experts placed a series of highly sensitive seismographs in the Ross Ice Shelf. Two years in a comprehensive data analysis later, it was clear the ice is singing, virtually continuously, at frequencies of five cycles or more. And with that, thank you for watching today's video to the end. Feel free to press the like and subscribe button to support us for free and stay up to date at the same time. Have a look at the other videos of our channel which we have linked for you in the credits. But first, we're interested in your opinion. Which Antarctic discovery fascinated you the most? And what other exciting discoveries in the eternal ice have you heard about? We look forward to your comments.